Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss the method to find incongruent solution of given linear congruence equation. In my last video, we have found the congruent solutions of given linear congruence equation. We have discussed the case when GCD of A and N is 1, that is A and N are relatively prime, then the congr linear congruence equation AX is congruent to B modulo N always has a solution. But if GCD is not equal to 1, the congruence AX is congruent to B modulo N may or may not have a solution. For example, if I consider the congruence 12X is congruent to 8 modulo 15, then this particular linear congruence has no solution. Okay, let us show this first. If possible, if possible, Let x not be the solution of solution of this equation. Twelve x is congruent to eight modulo fifteen. Then, by definition, this will imply fifteen divides twelve x minus eight. By definition, okay, this will give us twelve x minus. If possible, let x dot be the solution. If x dot is the solution, we can replace x by x dot here. And same way here, same way here. That means 12 x dot minus 8 is equal to 15 k for some integer k. Okay. Now, this will give us 12 x naught minus 15 k is equal to 8 from here. Clear? Now, now, 3 divides 12 x naught and 3 divides 15 k also. This will give us 3 divides 12 x naught minus 15 k. Okay, that is, but this is equal to 8, that is 3 divides 8, which is not possible, not possible. Which is not possible. Which is not possible. <coughs> that is. Our assumption is wrong. Assumption is wrong. And therefore. And therefore. Congruence. Has no solution. Has. No solution. Clear. Here we note that. Here A is, if I write here, here, A is 12, okay, and N is 15. Also, GCD of 12 and 15, and GCD of 12 and 15 is what? 3, which is not equal to 1. Okay, that means here in this video, I am going to discuss the case when GCD of A and N is not equal to 1. Okay, if it is equal to 1, then we have discussed the case that it um, the congruence will have the solution. Okay, now I am going to discuss the case when it is not equal to 1, then under what condition this linear congruence has a solution. Clear? Now, now we will consider the case when GCD of A and N is not equal to 1, that is A and N are not relatively prime. In such case, the linear congruence AX is congruent to B modulo N may or may not have any solution. May not have, may not have any solution as discussed in above example or it may have several incongruent solutions. Incongruent solutions. Okay may not have solution or may have several incongruent solutions okay now we will have uh, we will discuss the theorem this the linear congruence ax is congruent to b modulo n has a solution the linear congruence ax is congruent to b modulo n has a solution if and only if d divides b where d is the gcd where D is the GCD of A and N. Under this condition, if GCD of A and N divides B, this B, 
then only in that case this linear congruence has a solution and also if a solution exists there is unique solution modulo n1 in case the solution exists then the solution is unique modulo n1 where n1 is what n1 is n divided by d n1 is n divided by d if this condition holds then the solution exists and solution is unique modulo n1 where n1 is n divided by d thus there are exactly d solutions d solution xi where xi lies between 0 and n such that no two of which are congruent modulo n no two of which are congruent modulo n that is it has d mutually incongruent solutions modulo n mutually incongruent solution modulo n okay means if we have this linear congruence a s is congruent to b modulo n and d is the gcd of a and n such that d divides b that means if d is a gcd then d divides b in that case we say this congruence has a unique solution modulo n1 not n modulo n1 where n1 is n divided by d okay if d divides b then it has unique uh, solution modulo n1 not n where n1 is n divided by d also there um, there are d solutions d incongruent solutions it has d incongruent solutions modulo n d incongruent solutions modulo n okay let us understand this with the help of example okay first we note that how to find the incongruent solution okay if x naught is any solution of this congruence linear congruence ax is congruent to b modulo n the, and d is the gcd of a and n then we know if d divides b then it has a solution unique modulo n1 where n1 is n divided by d also we know from the theorem that it has d incongruent solutions and the incongruent solutions are given by this rule if x naught is any solution then the d solutions are given by x naught x naught plus n by d plus x naught by 2n by d and so on up to x naught plus d minus 1 n by d these are the d incongruent solutions and congruent solution modulo n1 is unique okay now let us find the uh, solutions with uh, let us understand this theorem with the help of examples first we consider the case solve the linear congruence 8x is congruent to 4 modulo 12 okay now comparing this now comparing this with ax is congruent to b modulo n here we have a is 8 b is 4 and n is 12 now d is gcd of a and n that is this is a notation for gcd okay 8 and 12 is 4 gcd is 4 now also 4 divides 4 that is d divides b okay therefore therefore solution exists from theorem number 2 theorem exists uh, sorry solution exists okay now mark this as this given linear congruence as 1 mark this as 1 okay now now 12 sorry i will write first equation again this is our linear congruence 8x is congruent to 4 modulo 12 let us write this uh, this congruence again and this will imply 12 divides 8x minus 4 and this will give us by definition 8x minus 4 is 12k for some integer k and now dividing by 4 here we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 3k 
for sum k belonging to z this will give us 3 divides 2x minus 1 that is 2x is congruent to 1 modulo 3. That is 2x is congruent to 1 modulo 3. Okay. Mark this as 2 equation. This is 1 and this is 2. Therefore, therefore, an integer is a solution is a solution of given congruence 1 given congruence 1 if and only if it is a solution of of congruence 2 congruence 2 okay now we will find the solution of congruence 2 linear congruence 2 okay now consider now we consider now we consider 2x is congruent to 1 modulo 3. Here a is 2, b is 1 and n is 3 and GCD of a and n 2 and 3. GCD of a and n is 1. They are relatively prime. Therefore, by Euclid's algorithm, there exist. This is a sign for there exist. There exist integers integers r and s such that 2r plus 3s is equal to 1. Now we will find r and s. Okay. Now let us divide 3 by 2 here. This is 2 then 2 0 0 0 now 3 can be written as this 3 can be written as 2 into 1 plus 1 and this 2 is written as 2 is 1 into 2 plus 0. Now using this equation. Now using this equation we have 1 is written as 1 can be written as 1 is equal to 3 minus 2 into 1. Okay. That is 2 into minus 1 plus 3 into 1 is equal to 1. Okay. From here we have 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 3 minus 1. I can write like this. That is 2 into minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo 3. I can write like this. Okay. Now comparing this, now comparing this with equation 2, comparing this, comparing with linear congruence 2, we have x is equal to minus 1 is the solution. Since 2 was, equation number 2 was 2x is congruent to 1 modulo 3. This was our equation number 2, linear congruence now comparing this with this we get x is equal to minus 1 is the solution is the solution now minus 1 is congruent to 2 modulo 3 since 3 divides minus 1 divided by my uh, sorry 3 divides minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 3 therefore x is equal to 2 or x is congruent to 2 modulo 3 is the solution of is a solution of 2 and hence of 1 also hence of 1 also okay now this is unique solution modulo 3 where 3 is n by d n is 12 and d is 4 gcd was 4 and n is 12 okay that means this is the unique solution modulo 2. Now we will find the incongruent solutions. Okay. Now we will find next we will find the incongruent solution. Now, now D is GCD of 8 and 12. That is 4. There are now since G, GCD D is 4. Therefore there are there will be there will be Four incongruent solutions. Four incongruent solutions. 
modulo 12 modulo 12 since here d is 4 okay of given linear congruence of given linear congruence clear of given linear congruence now x not is equal to 2 from here x not is equal to 2 is one solution from here now x not is equal to 2 is one of the solution is one of the solution one of the solution therefore therefore four in congruent solution modulo modulo 12 modulo 12 are given by are given by x not x not plus n by d this was the rule x not plus 2 n by d and x not plus 3 n by d since here d is 4 and we have to go to d minus 1 up to d minus 1 that means d minus 1 here is 3 okay that is 2 2 plus n is 12 by 4 Two plus two into twelve by four, and two plus three into twelve by four. These are the solutions. That is two. This is three plus two five. This is three two six six plus two eight, and this is three three nine plus two eleven. Okay, these are the solutions. That is, in other words, this solution can be written as that is. X is congruent to two, five, eight, eleven, modulo twelve. These are the four incongruent solutions of given linear congruence. Okay, these are the four solutions. Okay, or we can write as four incongruent solutions are given by or or. Here also we can write or four incongruent solutions, incongruent solutions of given linear congruence of given linear congruence of given linear congruence are x is congruent to two. Modulo twelve, x is congruent to five modulo twelve. X is congruent to eight, and x is congruent to eleven modulo twelve. Modulo twelve. These are the four incongruent solutions of given linear congruence. Clear? Now we come to next problem. Okay, second. Solve the linear congruence. Solve the linear congruence nine x is congruent to twenty one modulo thirty. Okay, let us now find the solution for this linear congruence. Now comparing this. Now comparing this with a x is congruent to b modulo n. We have here a is nine, b is twenty one, and n is thirty. Now G C D of clearly G C D of a and n that is this nine and thirty is three, which is not equal to one. Okay. Also d divides. This three divides twenty one, since three divides twenty one. Okay. This is nine x is congruent to twenty one. Modulo thirty. Here a is nine, b is twenty one, and n is thirty. G C D of a and n nine and thirty is three, and this is b and d divides b. That is three divides twenty one. Therefore. This has a unique solution modulo n one. N one is 
n divided by d okay clear now we consider this 9x is congruent to 21 modulo 30 mark this as 1 this will imply 30 divides 9x minus 21 that is 9x minus 21 is equal to 30k for some k belonging to z. Okay. Now this will give us on dividing by 3 both sides. This is 3x minus 7 is congruent to 10k for some k belonging to z. This will give us 10 divides 3x minus 7 and this will imply 3x is congruent to 7 modulo 10. Okay. Mark this as equation number uh, 2. Okay. This 9x is congruent to 21 modulo 30 is 1 and 3x congruent to 7 modulo 10 is 2. Okay. Therefore, an integer is solution of 2 if and only if it is solution of 1. Okay. Therefore, we can say Therefore, we can say, therefore, an integer, therefore, an integer is a solution of given congruence, of given congruence, one, if and only if it is a solution of it is a solution of congruence 2. Okay. Now we will consider the second congruence. Now we will consider. Now we will consider. Second congruence. Consider the congruence. Three x is congruent to seven modulo ten. Here. A is 3, B is 12, uh, B is 7 and N is 12. Okay. And GCD of A and N is not 12. It is 10. It is 10, not 12. Okay. And GCD of A and N that is 3 and 10. A and N is 1 g series of 3 and 10 is 1 therefore by euclid's algorithm there exist integers r and s such that 3 into r plus 10 into s is equal to 1 now we will find these integers r and s for this we will first divide 3 uh, 10 by 3 3 3 is a 9 here we have 1 3 3 0 now this 10 can be written as 3 into 3 plus 1 and this 3 is written as 1 into 3 plus 0. Now we will use this sec first equation. Now 1 is equal to 10 minus 3 into 3 or I can write as 3 into minus 3 plus 10 into 1 is equal to 1. Okay that is. Now we want to solve this equation 3x is congruent to 7 modulo 10. So I will write this equation in this form. Clear? Now this can be written as 3 into minus 3 is congruent to 1 modulo 10. I can write like this. This equation. Okay. Since this can be written as 3 into minus 3 is equal to 1 minus 10 into 1. I can write like this. Now comparing this. Now we will compare this with this. Here we have 7 here. But here we have 1. So first we multiply this equation by 7. Multiply. Multiply by 7 both sides. Okay. Both sides. Okay. That means. I can write like this, okay, and using the property of congruences, I can multiply by 7 here. This will be 21 congruent to 
7 modulo 10 I can write like this clear now comparing this with our second equation on comparing this on comparing with equation 2 or linear congruence 2 we have x is equal to minus 21 is the solution okay one second we can write like this we have x is equal to x is equal to minus 21 is a solution is a solution okay also minus 21 is congruent to 9 modulo 10 since 10 divides minus 21 minus 9 that is minus 30 therefore x congruent to 9 modulo 10 is the solution of 2 and hence of 1 also okay clear now this is the unique solution modulo 10 n1 is 10 which is n by d n was 30 and d was 3 one second i can again check this is gcd was 3 and n is 30 that is 30 by 3 that is 10 this is unique solution modulo n1 okay now we will find the incongruent solutions okay now since gcd of n and d that is 30 and 3 gcd of a and n not n by d by mistake sorry now since gcd of 9 and 30 is 3 therefore therefore there will be there will be three incongruent solutions incongruent solutions modulo 30 of given linear congruence of given linear congruence clear okay and x naught is x naught is equal to 9 is one of the solution is one of the solution therefore three incongruent solutions incongruent solutions are given by are given by x naught x naught plus n by d and x naught plus 2n by d okay here d is 3 therefore d minus 1 is 2 we will uh, reach up to 2 t, d minus 1 that is x naught is x naught is 9 this is 9 plus n is 30 by 3 9 plus 2 into 30 by 3 that is that is 9 this is 10 10 plus 9 19 and this is 10 20 29 okay that is solutions three incongruent solutions are given by 9 19 27 29 modulo modulo 30 these are the three incongruent solutions modulo 30 or solutions can be written as x is congruent to 9 modulo 30 x is congruent to 19 modulo 30 and x is congruent to 29 modulo 30 these are the three incongruent solutions modulo 30 and x is congruent to 9 modulo 10 is the unique solution modulo 10 clear this is a unique solution modulo 10 and these are the three incongruent solutions modulo 30 okay clear now that's it for this video if you have any queries or any suggestions please write to me in comment box thank you